If you live in a community where everyone is vaccinated against, say, the measles, you're protected whether you get vaccinated or not because everyone you come in contact with is and always will be measles-free. So why get vaccinated, right? You're already in the best possible position. You get all the benefits of the herd immunity without any of the cost. You are free riding on a community benefit without paying for it. Here's the problem. As more and more people become free riders, there's less to ride on. The herd immunity that protected the free riders weakens, and now those that are unprotected because they opted out, and those that are still too young or ill to be immunized are more and more at risk. This is a serious problem. U.S. vaccination rates have fallen and our measles vaccination rate is 91% for children one to two years old, lower than half of the countries in the world. The vaccination rate for herd immunity to reasonably protect a community from measles is estimated to be 83 to 94%. We are already short the high end of that range. If measles is introduced into a community below this threshold, it could create an epidemic. If you don't vaccinate your kid, please don't ask me not to judge you. I don't care if you breastfeed, I don't care if you eat your own placenta, because it doesn't affect my family. But if you don't vaccinate your child, you're putting other kids that are too young or too ill to be vaccinated at risk. But let's be civil and look at this from a game theory perspective. Parents don't make decisions based on what's best for the community. They make decisions based on what's best for their family. Fair enough. Let's take a look at the decision from that angle. There are the costs. There's needles, babies hate needles. Some mild possible side effects, such as rash, fever, bruising. Some parents also consider the unsubstantiated link to autism as a risk. It's not true, or at least it can't be proven, but nonetheless, this factors in for some parents. Many parents see little benefit to vaccination. If the community is protected, the risk to their child is minimal, and people seem to forget how terrible these diseases are and discount the value of protecting against them. If that's how you weigh the costs and benefits, even I can understand why some parents opt out. So how can we fix the individual cost-benefit decision so that parents choose both what's best for their family and their community? We need to increase the cost of not vaccinating, and simply shaming these parents is not gonna do it. We need to ban kids that are not vaccinated for reasons of personal belief from our schools, our daycares, and our homes. This may seem harsh, but the alternative is worse. The real risk of a measles epidemic may be the only way to convince anti-vaxxers of the benefit of the vaccine. But let's not wait around for that.